Hello everybody, this is JD again. Gotta get myself positioned here. Okay, what this video is, it's a challenge. Let's see which one of our, those two main char characters, and I say characters, that are running for president, who claim to be senators, do have the leadership ability to make something happen. Here's my challenge. Taxes. Minimum wage. Oh, this is also why I should be the president of the United States. Because I'm a person that will come up with ideas and solutions. Not part of the problem. Now, here it is. Minimum wage, period, should not be taxable whatsoever. Don't go raising minimum wage because what good does it do to people who are making minimum wage when they lose half their paycheck? Make minimum wage non-taxable whatsoever. McCain, Obama, can you get it through Congress and the Senate? I don't think either one of you have the leadership ability to do it. Let's see what you can do. Minimum wage, period, should not be taxable. Now, people who make minimum wage will pay no taxes whatsoever. No federal, no state, no city, no local. No taxes whatsoever. People who make over minimum wage... The minimum wage of their salary will not be taxable. What is this going to do? One, it's going to almost double the salary of people who make minimum wage. Two, people who make more money, like let's say $15 an hour, and let's say, for example, minimum wage is $5, $5 of their salary won't be taxable. They'll get an increase in their paycheck. That will help our economy, help our people. <clears throat> That's right, the American people. Well, what do you, <coughs> you might argue, well, we're going to lose taxable income. Well, then stop giving it away overseas. <coughs> Start thinking of the American people first. I don't think Obama, I don't think McCain, and I don't think any of those senators and congressmen are running could do it. <coughs> and Nancy Pelosi, if they don't do it, and I get elected president, it will happen. Because either minimum wage won't be taxable or there will not be an income tax. As a leader, I will show direction. As a leader, I will force things to happen. This is why you, the American people, need me as president. Because I will think of you first and foremost. And I will give direction for this country to take it to the 22nd century. This is just another of many ideas. I got ways to make Social Security so sound it will be sound for over 100 years. Congress is going to hate it. But the truth is, it's going to be good for the earth. And it's going to be good for our government. And it's going to be good for the American people. The thing is, people... Minimum wage should never have been taxable. Minimum wage, you can't make a living on. When a person makes $75 in a day on minimum wage, and they take home 40 something's wrong there. Minimum wage can not, should not, and would, will not be taxable. <laughs> See, the difference between a leader... And these political parties is the leader will come up with ideas and solutions. Whether we follow them or not, at least it's a direction to go in. They don't have that. They got false promises. My statement is simple. It's not a promise. Minimum wage should not, could not, and will not be taxable. Period. For anything. Think either one of you two can do it? I don't think you have the leadership ability in you. I bet Jim Webb could get it done. Even though I disagree with him on his comment that Washington needs more revenue. It doesn't. It has too much revenue. That's why he turned down vice president. Because he knows 
where the real political power is. The president is a leader, not a politician. And as a leader, the president needs to take a look at our problems and solve them. If I become president, in my first State of the Union message is, Congress, Senate, you have given me a mess to straighten up. But together, we can do it. So people, you need to support me. You need to get the word out there. You need to pass it. We need a leader for a president, not a politician. And Obama, McCain, do you even have the guts enough to go into the Senate and push for minimum wage for everybody not to be taxable? And to ensure that they don't backdoor it, which the government wants to do all the time, in when people file their taxes, they will get credit on their taxes for their minimum wage portion of their salary. So it's not taxed then. And of course, people who make minimum wage, they of course will have no taxes. <clears throat> Again, <coughs> there is a challenge for you too. See what you can do with it. Instead of traveling around the country making false, hypocritical promises, let's see some action. You're in a position to do it. Well, let's do it. And you, the American people, this is what you're going to get as a leader. Not someone who's going to make promises, but's going to give directions and tell the people, make it happen. Cannot is not acceptable. It must happen. Our economy must be turned around in a permanent way. So I'm not looking for a temporary no minimum wage tax. I mean permanently, forever, never to be changed. Minimum wage will always be totally non-taxable. Thank you. Remember, this is JD, and I'm running for president. And I've just given you two reasons why you should elect me. And I have thousands more. Because like you, the American public out there, I am living in this nightmare that our Congress and Senate has created. It's time to turn the country around. It's time to make it what it should be. The United States of America. The leader in the world by our actions, not our words. Thank you.